I think the handshake is very, very old. And actually in my book, I talk about how it's probably about seven million years old at least. Um, and I don't think it's going anywhere because I think a lot of people don't realize that this isn't, this is not the first time in history that the handshake has died or become extinct. Um, so actually during the Spanish flu in uh, Prescott, Arizona in the US, um, they made the handshake illegal. Um, in the end of the eighth, the end of the 1700s in Philadelphia, um, there was a yellow fever outbreak and people stopped shaking hands. In Baku, Azerbaijan, um, at the end of the 1800s, there was a cholera outbreak. People formed an anti-handshake society. They stopped shaking hands. Um, and in all of those places, of course, the handshake was back. So um, I think you can even see it now. Like I'm from London, but I've currently been traveling like, you know, a lot of places for different films right now. I've like been in Egypt, I've been in Poland. Um, and guess what? The handshake's back. Like I'm not saying everybody's doing it, but um, it's, it's definitely started to come back, yeah. So I have to say, I think the responsible thing to do if there's a real risk of um, something, like for example, um, you know, uh, if, if, for example, right now in London, I feel comfortable going back to the handshake, but it really depends. Like if it was an older person, I probably still wouldn't feel comfortable with it. So I think there's definitely advantages to you adding these other greetings to a repertoire of greetings. So maybe if you've got a cold, instead of going in for a handshake, maybe, maybe don't, maybe do something else or maybe just don't touch somebody at all. Um, but I think the problem with these other greetings is they are, they, this, as much as I love the fist bump, a lot of people see it as quite aggressive, right? It's quite like, you know, so like old people are probably not gonna wanna do that. Um, this, it's awkward. It's, it's I mean, it, it's, it's, again, it's good, like, especially like if you're in hospital, you probably, you know, it's probably a good one to be doing, but it's just, you're not really touching somebody. You're kind of doing this to them. It's very weird, so. I'd say that I think the other ones have their uses and I think you should be responsible, but for sure, long term, they're not really going to outcompete the handshake. Coming to the Emirates Literature Festival has been a wonderful way of meeting some really, really lovely people.